，请订阅、按赞、分享，开启小铃铛，即刻订阅《文倩世界周报》YouTube 频道。Lobbying is about foresight. About anticipating your opponent's moves. She's your enemy now. And devising countermeasures. 这是二零一六年的美国电影《功底地球》。讲的是美国华府一名具有高明交涉手腕的女说客如何推动枪支管制立法的政治惊悚片。You're talking about blackmailing a United States senator. Find another way. 恐吓、敲诈、窃听、贿赂、制造新闻，这名游说专家样样精通。为了完成客户交代的国会立法，甚至不惜赌上自己的职业生涯。Did you arrange for benefits such as travel, luxury accommodations, and sports tickets to be furnished to members of Congress at the behest of your clients? 电影虽然是虚构，但许多情节与桥段却有其真实的故事与背景，也反映出在美国的政治生态中，政治游说这一产业在华府举足轻重的地位。Lobbying is arguably the American government's oldest profession. It's an industry worth over three and a half billion dollars, with around 12,000 professionals and hundreds of firms, unions, trade associations, and interest groups in the field. It's one of the main drivers of policymaking in the U.S., but people still don't know much about it. I think one of the misconceptions about lobbyists is that you know we walk around with bags of money and say vote our way or support this or oppose this. But it's not even close to the truth. We want ultimately our policies to be based on the merits, and we want as much information as possible, as long as it is truthful and and relevant and, and meaningful. From the lobbyist worker's point of view, this is a very promising career. But from the general public's perspective, it is full of corruption and corruption. Who gets to take the tax break? 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 And who gets the regulatory rollbacks that increase profits? Well, obviously, it's the biggest corporations and the wealthiest people at the top. We've got to get big money out of politics. 由于游说者经常在国会议场外的大厅与代议士和官员接触，试图影响决策，因此英文的“游说”一词就是从“大厅”这个字演变而来。而游说工作是早在美国建国之初就已经存在的行业。为确保没有一个利益团体可以强大到主导政策制定，游说工作更受到美国宪法第一修正案中请愿权的保护。而游说在华府的决策中扮演重要的角色，在二零一九年的美国国会通过了一万两千一百七十项法案和修正案中，就有将近一万两千名的游说工作者参与。他们为客户收集资讯、撰写政策说帖、媒体宣传，甚至提出法案文本。Part teacher as educator, and in part lawyer is defending or protecting or trying to implement something. People will say we don't want lobbyists writing bills. You rather have us writing them than you would a member of Congress who has zero experience in the issues that you're dealing with. The problem is that there are only 24 hours in the day, and these representatives, these senators, they may not have time or make time to seek alternative perspectives. And especially when those alternative perspectives are coming from groups or individuals that do not have the ability to make campaign donations. 早期华府的游说工作并不复杂，主要集中于工会的诉求。议员基于选票压力，大多言听计从。但一九七零年代后，美国企业的资方发现政策越来越偏向老方，因此抱着大笔钞票进入华府。这让原本就没什么监管的游说工作变得复杂。When I was a staffer, I had lobbyists from every industry taken. This is back before the rules had changed. Big, huge dinners, thousands of dollars, expensive wines. I mean, seafood towers. You name it, it was all legal. And I would just laugh, giggle to myself, thinking, "You think that my boss is going to be with you because you just bought me a $250 bottle of wine? You're full of..." 前国会助理，后来转行当说客，现在已经退休的吉姆说。这行业讲的是道德操守，但诱惑总让人出轨。美国游说行业教父级人物杰克·阿布拉莫夫，就因贿赂国会议员，在两千零六年栽了大跟斗，成为美国史上最大的游说丑闻主角。Abramoff would provide freebies and gifts, looking for favors for his clients in return. He'd lavish certain congressmen and senators with access to private jets and junkets to the world's great golf destinations like St. Andrews in Scotland. 
free meals at his own upscale Washington restaurant, and access to the best tickets to all the area's sporting events, including two skyboxes at Washington Redskins games. I spent uh, over a million dollars a year uh, on tickets to sporting events and uh, concerts and whatnot at all the million venues. dollars? Yeah. Yeah. For the best seats? The best seats. I had two people on my staff whose virtual full-time job was booking tickets. We were Ticketmaster for these guys. As I look back, it was effective. It certainly helped uh, the people I was trying to help, both the clients and the Republicans at that time. But even that was, you're now saying, was corrupt. Yes. Can you quantify how much it costs to corrupt a congressman? <laughs> I was actually thinking of writing a book, uh, The Idiot's Guide to Buying a Congressman, uh, as a way to put this all down. But first, I, I think most congressmen don't feel they're being bought. Uh, most congressmen, I think, can, in their own mind, justify uh, the system. Rationalize. Yeah. And by the way, we wanted as lobbyists for them to feel that way. Abu拉莫夫被判五年十个月，现在已经出狱。他承认犯行，但只是在工作上越过了红线，不能一竿子打翻一船人。美国政治体系能需要游说工作者，也因这起案件，美国加强游说管理，公开游说的申报与登记。